Hi everyone, this is William Bay from FlyingYourSite.com. Today I'm going to help you find new clients and increase your SEO by harnessing the power of Twitter with the program TweetDeck. If you're unfamiliar with TweetDeck, I highly suggest that you go to TweetDeck.com and check it out. The program comes in a desktop version, which I use, as well as web version and mobile apps for iPhone and Android. It's a great program as it brings your social media like Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn profiles under one easy to use interface. It also allows you to manage multiple accounts. So if you have a personal Twitter account and a business account, you can manage them all from the same program. What I'm going to share, share with you today is the power of the search columns and how that can be used to prospect for potential clients in your photography business. So in TweetDeck, you'll find the Add Column button here. We're going to click on that and the following dialog box will ask us which account we want to use. And we have the option between Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn, Google, uh, Buzz, and uh, Foursquare. But we're going to choose Twitter, which is the default. In the search box here, we're going to input a keyword that you think potential customers may be using while tweeting, and which we'll use to target those people. For example, I'm a wedding photographer in San Diego, so I'm very interested in looking for people that are getting married in San Diego. In this case, I would use something like San Diego married or San Diego wedding or even San Diego engaged. In this instance, I'm going to type in San Diego getting married. Hit enter and a column will pop up to the right and return results with those keywords in it. If you use multiple search columns like I do here, that could pay off with more potential prospects. The words don't have to be in any particular order and the great thing about this is that San Diego or whichever city you're searching for doesn't have to be in the tweet itself but could be in the person's Twitter profile which would create an even better target for you. Now comes the process of sorting through the searches and finding good prospects to respond to. You want to find good tweets that could be open to receiving some information from you. It's important not to just bombard people with unwanted info about you and your services. And you could potentially have your account suspended if you're just spamming people. So if we look through here, we'll find quite a few people tweeting with San Diego and getting married in the, in the tweet itself. Now you might you may find people that have announced that they are just been engaged. In this case, you might respond with a message of congratulations and send them to something that you've written about uh, selecting a wedding photographer or 10 things to know about planning your wedding on your website that they could read if they're interested. In this case, I've got someone here who says that he'll be in San Diego officially next year and his sister will be getting married. So that might be a good person to contact and provide some information for that he could send to his sister. Or you may find someone that's actually looking for recommendations of other vendors. You would definitely want to recommend the vendors that you've worked with in the past. The opportunity may present itself to let them know that you're a photographer for hire as well. But remember, social media is about sharing and growing communities and relationships. If you're to refer a vendor, they may refer work back to you at some point. There's something to be said for internet karma. Now, can this work for other photographers? Of course. If you're a maternity photographer, you may look up praises like having a baby or I'm pregnant. If you're a senior photographer, you can look up words like graduate or senior. It's really only limited to your creativity. Now, why use TweetDeck over Twitter search? In my opinion, TweetDeck's interface is quite a bit more streamlined twi than Twitter's and has more features. TweetDeck's feeds are automatic, so they don't have to refresh my browser screen when people send new tweets. It's live and in real time. Since I can have as many search columns as I want, it's just as simple as scrolling to the right from most of my, use my most used columns 
to get through my list. And one of my favorite features is that you can assign an audible notification as the searches come in, so you don't have to check every five minutes to see if you're missing something new. Now I hope that you have a new way to obtain clients. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me here at flauntyoursite.com. We do specialize in SEO and social marketing for photographers and can help you in your campaigns. Thank you very much.